Let's cross now to Palesa, who's in the Free State, uh, just before the uh, breakfast briefing that's happening after 7 o'clock, to chat about the, uh, the great results that have uh, happened in, with the matric results, particularly uh, in the Free State. Uh, Palesa? Well, Peter, thank you very much, but we're just going to shift our focus a little bit away from the metric result in the first state province. We are going to be dwelling, uh, you know, a little bit more on the issue later on here on Morning Life. We just want to focus on uh, one of the ANC stalwarts in the province uh, and uh, Defe Zile because the ANC in the province will be having memorial lectures throughout the week uh, in commemoration of the stalwart. Let's just get a perspective as to how things will unfold. Uh, I am joined by the MEC of the, of the Education in the Free State, uh, who is also the ANC PEC member, Tate Ma good morning to talk to us about Ndate Fezile Dabi. Who is Fezile Dabi? Well, Fezile Dabi is a product of the revolution of South Africa. He's, uh, he's been a leader in a community of Tumahule. And also has been a very important leader at uh, institutions such as Forte, United Democratic Front. And uh, he was also a lawyer for the workers. So he also, we call him a teacher in our own community because most of the things that we know in that township we were taught by him and uh, he was a very selfless leader he's a leader who actually prioritized us uh, from small things drama debates you know public speaking and he gave us all and i think uh, more importantly he taught us about anc when anc was un was was banned and uh, he taught us even to survive interrogations uh, we we by the time we got arrested we knew how to survive interrogation because of him. So he's a very, very important leader. And we are, we, 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 we are very happy that uh, the government has actually named a district after him because uh, his name must stay forever. We must always celebrate these unsung heroes because they've made a contribution. I wouldn't be where I'm, I'm standing now if it was not a first letter. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, I know that he is someone who believed uh, so much in education. He was even once expelled in university. Do you think he'd be very happy with how the Free State Province has performed last year? He would be the happiest person. Uh, you know, uh, during the holidays, uh, when they were in Forte, they used to teach us about universities. They used to give extra classes. Uh, they used to teach us uh, debates, as I said, public speaking. And he loved education a lot. He was himself one of the best performers uh, in his metric years. And then uh, at Fort Hay, he got buzzery after buzzery because he was very, very good uh, in education. So he will be very, very happy with the performance that we, have, that we have given to him. In fact, we can as well dedicate these good results to him. Yeah. First letter. Yeah, well, indeed. Now Talk to us about the uh, memorial lectures. I do know that uh, the ANC in the East, in the Free State uh, specifically has uh, uh, prepared memorial lectures for the week. You're delivering one on Thursday for the ANC Youth League, and the Premier will deliver one also on Saturday. That is correct, Palisa. We we want that uh, our young people to to, to to know these heroes, to to continue to talk about them, to know that uh, the struggle involved a lot of other people, except the known leaders or the. We must also, in every community, know that uh, there are leaders, there are people who have shown us the way, and therefore we must celebrate them. Yes, I will be in Paris delivering the lecture. We'll be focusing on the role that he played in terms of uh, empowering the young people. I was a young person at that time. I think when I joined the Maulis Student Organization at that time, I was only 15 years. And then through, through the years, they've been able to, to, to teach us and give, and, and give us guidance. So I'll be focusing on the young people. And the Premier uh, will later uh, uh, talk about Fezile's role in the civic movement because not only did he focus on, on, on uh, students, he also focused on the community issues. We tackled the community issues and I think uh, Premier will also include uh, his role as a worker in supporting uh, the, the working people of South Africa. Right now, lastly, do you think the uh, Free State Provincial Government is giving Ndate Fezile Dabi uh, a well-deserved recognition? Like you said, there's a district in the province that has been named after him. I think there's also a state I'm in Paris that's been named after him. Yeah. No, I do. I do think that we are giving him uh, that, that recognition that is important. But uh, remember, uh, Palesa, the, there's a lot of issues that we need to deal with uh, in transforming society. Well, society of South Africa is still in transition. There are many problems, and I think one of the things that uh, when he looks back from his grave, when he sees ANC government building houses, he is probably very, very happy. When he sees black children 
uh, qualifying as medical doctors. He's extremely happy. And I think all those things that we are doing is not about the individual, but it's about the revolution. It's about changing the people's lives. And I think Comrade Faisal Dabi, wherever he is, he's smiling. He's the happiest. He says, yeah, they are my boys. I think I taught them well. Right, no, and that Demacho will leave it at that, but I do know that you and I are going to have some uh, beautiful discussions on the performance of the Free State Province in a few minutes' time. Thank you so much, Halebo. Thank you very much, me. Halebo. There you have an ANCPEC member in the Free State Province, also the MEC of Education, Tate Macho, talking to us about the role of uh, one of the ANC uh, stalwarts in the province, Fezile Dabi. This is his birth month, so the Free State Provincial Government and the ANC in the province has actually, uh, you know, prepared some celebrations as well as a commemoration of his life. Well, Peter, I'm just going to hand back to you. I, I do know that she'll be coming back to us here from Kwakwa after 7 o'clock.